One of the most persistent problems that people faced when doing business in the 19th century United States was dealing with the variety and determining the veracity of the coins and currency that passed through their hands. Counterfeiting was rampant, and the public, and merchants in particular, needed a simple way to adjudge whether or not a given coin was genuine. The scope of the problem was such that a veritable parade of counterfeit detection devices flooded the market, all promising to be easier to use and more accurate than their rivals. One of the most popular was the Fairbanks Infallible Coin Scale, a type that first appeared in the late 1870s and was patented by J.T. McNally and W.H. Harrison on February 28, 1882. Their application for a steel and cast iron scale trumpeted the simplicity of the design and boasted that, quote, the whole presents an ornamental appearance to the eye, end quote. The American Numismatic Society has a suite of McNally Harrison type scales. They were a so-called rocker device. It has a fixed fulcrum with a weighted end and a series of slots to receive the different types of coins. The precise history of the device is a bit murky as scales of this design were being sold a few years before the patent was filed, albeit with a wooden base. This early version cost just $2.50 and was functionally the same as the later cast iron version that was manufactured in volume. As this advertisement indicates, the McNally device was effective because it simultaneously checked the weight, diameter, and thickness of a given coin. The diameter and thickness were measured via the width and depth of the particular slot, while the position of the free-floating balance arm indicated whether or not a particular coin was the correct weight. The difficulty that counterfeiters faced was not so much replicating the look of a coin, but doing so in a way that did not affect its dimensions or weight. They could, for example, create a counterfeit quarter that looked exactly like a genuine one, but in order to make the counterfeit the proper weight, it would often need to be thicker than an authentic coin. Conversely, a counterfeit coin with the proper look and dimensions would usually be underweight. With this in mind, let's see how the Fairbanks Infallible coin scale worked in practice. This particular model came in a wooden box and was used by the company's traveling salesmen in demonstrations for potential buyers. The interior is lined with instructions and information about circulating U.S. currency. I have selected four contemporary quarters of the Liberty seated type and two $5 coins or half eagles from our collection to test the infallibility of the Fairbanks detector. First up is an 1878 quarter, which is quite clearly a brass counterfeit, but it would have been coated with a thin layer of silver to give a more genuine impression at the time. The tell for what would have otherwise been an authentic looking and well-sized counterfeit was, as the scale indicates, that it was a bit underweight. Next up is an 1879 quarter, which fits snugly in its slot and after a bit of balancing action, settles at the level indicating that it is a genuine federal issue. Our third test coin is an 1877 quarter that has a well-defined obverse and certainly seems genuine. Alas, it sits rather loosely in the slot and is clearly underweight, so we will condemn it as a counterfeit. Finally, another 1877 quarter goes into the scale. Or does it? This cast counterfeit is simply too thick for its slot. The easy fashion in which the Fairbanks infallible coin scale operated would no doubt have been appealing to the public. And to give you an idea of the scope of the problem, the counterfeit quarters shown here were chosen from one of dozens of trays of contemporary counterfeit currency that is held here at the American Numismatic Society. Of course, if one was going to pay the advertised price of $5.35 for the device, it was likely to have been used to evaluate higher value gold coinage. A quarter was actually the lowest denomination that the Fairbanks scale was equipped to handle, but it had slots for the full range of American gold coinage, from the $20 double eagle to the tiny and little circulated gold dollar, for which an additional weight needed to be added to the arm. Let us see what the detector says about two contemporary $5 gold coins. The first, dated 1885, has a well-defined obverse and a nice golden sheen and the scale deems it genuine. The second, dated 1881, is virtually indistinguishable from the first coin, but the scale shows it to be an underweight counterfeit. The coin scale would clearly have performed a valuable service for any person in business regularly dealing with gold coins.
Of course, there were high quality counterfeits that might have been able to fool such a device, but it certainly seems to have been able to detect the vast majority of counterfeit coins. And while perhaps not infallible, the Fairbanks scale was a relatively simple and effective way to check for counterfeits. Paradoxically, perhaps, the success of the Fairbanks Infallible Scale Company shows that American enterprise was flourishing in the late 19th century on both sides of the law. Thank you.